Hello guys, welcome back to Dreaming Falcon, day two in Amsterdam. And it's just windy today, but it's but very sunny. Very, very sunny, amazing weather. And it's good for us because today we have lots of outdoor activities to do. But first, let's go and grab some breakfast. I'm feeling too much of sun in her eyes. No wind and sun <laughs> together. So, today we are going to now have a breakfast in one bakery, which is very very well known amongst the local but not so well known amongst the tourists I would say but let's try something local today so we will be at apple pie in a cafe called Winkle 43 and a jeans bakery where, where we will be having some breads, breads and some pastries let's say so we are excited let's go So guys, right now we are here at St. Jean's Bakery and we are in a queue which is very very long, very long to just to enter the bakery. It's just a small bakery, you go in, you place your order, you get your things to eat, let's say pastries or something like that and go out but there is a long queue that shows how popular this place is, how many locals and hopefully very tasty Exactly. So we are standing in a queue, I don't know how long. It will take because it's, it's moving, a, but so still a long queue. Yeah. So we'll see. But I think it's worth it. So let's let's wait for some time. So guys, we after 20 minutes around, 20 yes. minutes of waiting, we got our coffee It's from with coconut milk, it's with almond, almond because milk. they don't serve usual milks. Exactly, they their coffee is made up of plant-based milks. So this one is with coconut, this one is with almond. Very excited to try this, never tried such <laughs> <laughs> unusual coffee. And with that we have taken uh, this croffins which is a seasonal one and another one is uh, pistachios, pistachios and yes. a croissant with almond pistachio cream it looks like yeah this. it's like this <laughs> we will show you properly yes. <laughs> when we eat so exactly. right now we found a bench outside there is also seating inside but you have to wait for a and long time two seats just two seats so it's better you take your food to go and find a bench where you can sit and eat so let's go so guys, this is almond pistachio croissant. croissant. This one is seasonal uh, croffin, mm -hmm. and we have similar one in pistachio as well. This yeah, one, right here. Right here. Yes. So we are excited to try this. Let's try. Yeah. So hello guys, and right now we went out from this bakery. We tried already our things that we got there, and um, what can you say? The pistachio one was the best one. Exactly. From all of them. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I like the bakery a lot. We like the bakery a lot. Mm -hmm. But if you are not a fan of not classic milk, but plant based milk, based milk, <laughs> then you can try um, amazing coffee from here. But I'm not a fan. 
so I can't say that I liked it a lot. Yeah, she ordered almond milk. Exactly. With coffee. Never. Not good. Please. If I you are from with, Goa, then yeah. you can eat co like drink coconut and enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I tried with amazing. coconut milk, coffee with coconut milk. I adore it. It's very good. But she didn't like the one with almond mm, or coconut. coconut. Nothing. Doesn't so, recommend it. <laughs> exactly. So that's our opinion on this bakery. Let's let's go to Winkle Forty Three now. Oh, let's go. So guys, we are in the Winkle Forty Three cafe, and we are here to try. The apple pie, the famous apple pie, and drink some orange juice. Unfortunately, they didn't have tables free. Exactly, so we are sitting at a bar. But let's go, let's try it. Let's explore the new Just north of Texas, yeah, it's really nice. So guys, guys, in the next thing which we were supposed to do in Amsterdam, and when you come to Amsterdam, you have to do this. It's a boat trip in World Heritage UNESCO famous canals of Amsterdam. Yeah. And right now we are sitting in the boat and we are waiting uh, so the boat started on this boat trip. <laughs> exactly. And you get this earphones and you can so, yeah, just fact. clip it there. And, and you then have English translation yeah. also again. Yeah, you have many languages. For your information, you also have languages which are not European. You can hear it in Hindi as well if you want. And you have this guided tour all over in Amsterdam. They should show you all the famous spots, let's say. Also, you can buy tickets online, it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, a little bit cheaper here. than here. Also, we have a cafe here. If you come earlier exactly. with us and don't have any place to spend time in. So, let's enjoy this whole trip. We are at an unusual spot when you visit in Amsterdam. So this is not in Amsterdam actually. This is just outside in Amsterdam. A little bit, little outside. bit outside of Amsterdam. Let's say 15 minutes You can go train. there by train, yeah. Yeah, 15 no. minutes by train. And when you reach there, the view and the whole district is amazing. Because this is an unusual district of Zandam where you should visit to take a look at its unique architecture and it's very beautiful, very colourful not a lot of tourists you will see here because nobody usually comes here when they visit Amsterdam but, but I insist like me. <laughs> yes, but I insist you to visit this place Zandam and now let's go and have a look at this small very beautiful and very colourful district near Amsterdam it's actually behind us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
hello guys right now it's evening in amsterdam and we are near the red light district exactly the and biggest red light district in europe right now we are near the canal on the bridge sentin actually but exactly later we will go go to the red light district which is right there behind the shooting shooting there is let's say not prohibited but just for the safety uh, of you guys i would also tell you the rules which are there here there may, there might be people protecting those prostitutes so they might also have some weapons but it's safe generally also if you try to shoot a prostitute they might throw pee at you so be careful about that <laughs> i will see if i am able to shoot something and show you how the district looks like but most likely no but most most likely no we will tell you our opinion our after. opinion and our experience yeah let's go let's go Guys, we are just outside of the red light district. We finished this amazing <coughs> street, and we have our opinion, opinion. about it. Mm -hmm. What can you say, Maya? So we went to the museum unexpectedly. There is a prostitution museum in this, <laughs> at the start of unexpectedly. this. Unexpectedly. Yeah, at the start of this red light district, you cannot, you can shoot actually. It's not that safe, not that unsafe. But I didn't do it just because of our safety, because I was concerned. So we didn't shoot a lot, just few pictures here and there. But in the museum, it's allowed to shoot, yeah. and that's the only one place where it is allowed to shoot. shoot. Actually, yeah, honestly. freely you can shoot everywhere. Don't uh, you are not allowed to shoot prostitutes. There were some prostitutes we saw. Yeah. And we got to know about the story and how this whole district works. Why is it legal, and how, what is the process to become a prostitute as well in that museum? <laughs> I mean, if you are interested, you can go there and find out some information for yourself. Exactly. And uh, but how did you do? You feel now after visiting this, this street? You never like such places if you are not into them. I I am never into. It's what he says in front of me, and then no, <laughs> with all your sincere I, opinion. No. My sincere opinion. I'm not into such things, and I don't like to go such places. But it's a part. It's an experience of because course. it's the biggest red light district in Europe. So we visited that. Yes, it's done. It's done. Exactly. But. What can we say? I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come back there. So do I. <laughs> and it's amazing. Perfect. <laughs> right now right we are now at we... the yeah. Dam Square, the central square of Amsterdam. Which is very, very which is beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful around. We will show you. Yeah, there it's... is a monument here, which, which signifies Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. Music playing around. 
different buildings, huge buildings, huge shops. So we will show you this thing, this place. Let's go. Let's explore another location. Right now we are at our next spot which is the Anna Frank House Museum. Anna Frank was a small girl during the time of World War, First World War. She was Jewish. She was Jewish and she was hiding here with her parents during the war. And she is famous because she wrote about what is going on during the war, about her daily life during the war. Yes, and it's so everyday like notes. <laughs> everyday notes, like a small letters, let's say. Of every day what happened uh, an essay about a day and she wrote a lot of things about her life during the war and that's the reason it's very famous and people come here to experience and to read all these things and to see a lot more things about the war let's say from a point of view of a local from a point of view of a civilian normal exactly. civilian and it since it's a point of view from a civilian it's much more relatable to people and hence this museum is known as one of the most horrifying museums in Europe so let's go in and let's have a look at this museum let's go. so guys right now we just came out of the Anna Frank museum and here you can see the place the original outdoor of the house of Anna Frank she used to live in this house and the museum is just beside it and it, you can go inside through the museum and take a look at every uh, let's say room, room and hidden and rooms. hiding rooms in this whole house so that's all about Anna Frank now we'll be going to a place to eat and then that's all for today yeah. from Amsterdam see you tomorrow new day fresh morning and last day in Amsterdam yes see you tomorrow bye bye